I just got a new longboard. I just got this new electric board. Let me tell you why I got it. What's that mean? It's recording you as well. Well, it's recording in general, but it does multi-phase detection, I think. How do you make the face look different? The complexions. We're going to eat chicken wings. I got this electric skateboard because, well, I already have another electric skateboard. Um, I'm a big fan of Backfire skateboards, all right? This is the G3. This is their latest model right here. Um, I didn't get the Plus because I wanted something with Superflex. Why? Because I live in Colorado. I work in the city. I live near the mountains. So... I couldn't do this around the mountains. I can if I want to do like down the mountains or sliding or anything like that, but I wanted something where this can replace this in the city or in the mountains. Not as a total replacement. I love this board. It's super light. I take it everywhere I go. But little factor, I already opened this board. Why did I already open this board? I opened the board already because this camera came in later than when I got the board, so I wanted to have some fun. I can't have that much fun because where I live, it's really, really cold. Um, I've already tested the battery. I've already tested the board. This board's supposed to get up to 22 miles per hour. I'm like 183, so it got nine miles out of it. Almost complete battery is drained. That's because it's really, really cold right now. So I won't really be able to test these boards out fully until like another two maybe three months so that's that this is the backfire x2 they're brand new all-terrain shit the all-terrain board that board down there weighs 16 pounds this board supposedly weighs i haven't fact checked it i'm I should have fact checked it, right? This board weighs a whopping 24, 25 pounds. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I think the X1 weighs more than this. This is ridiculous, but it is their all-terrain board. I didn't get to use it in the city yet. I did get to use it. Um, hold on. I did get to use it um, on a trail. You know, I went with my family. We went down a trail. I got to use it there. It was phenomenal. Look, it's Mario uh, at the... Sure the new Xboxes don't have what is he? A raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Let me see. Yeah, because we brought my... Yeah. He has a raccoon? I was like trying to put this in it. We can't put it like this in it. Don't you? You know in the game when he does some kind of thing oh and he... God. He like goes in circles and then he flies. Oh well, yeah, he flies. So here's the thing. The reason I got the Backfire electric skateboards was because of this. Several times working out in the city, I've ordered um, Uber Eats. And nine times out of 10, something completely went wrong. So one specific event, what happened was I was driving, not driving, I was working and I ordered lunch, Uber Eats. You know, I live around the city. There's many, many things to um, order. Well, so, the last straw was, you know, just 
something in the food was gone and the Uber driver completely just looked at me and went, well, that's what they gave me and walked out. And that was it. That kind of did it for me. And hey, I'm not blaming every Uber driver because there's been a good bit of Uber drivers that um, were great. They were on time. They were prompt. They were courteous. If they couldn't find out where I was at, they would call. Um, I tried to do my best because um, certain places like an apartment I used to live in, um, it was kind of big. Like we had 16 buildings and I tried to give the best instructions and sometimes that worked more so than not. Well, being in downtown Denver working, it's hustle, bustle, move, right? It's fast. So I get it. But, you know, taking things that kind of doesn't belong to you, that's a little bit extreme. In my so here was my solution. My solution was really simple, right? Back in the 90s, <laughs> I skateboarded, I went and rode rollerblades because I had an older brother that, you know, went like half pipes, all kinds of stuff like that. And I thought that was really cool. So they came out with these um, electric skateboards and longboards and one wheels and whatnot. And I thought it was really cool. Like, you know, hmm, I could actually get from point A to point B and not deal with traffic. And that was part of the problem. So that same day, I had that Uber driver kind of give me the last straw on Uber Eats and you know, and you know, I called Uber Eats and they've always refunded the money. They've always taken care of me, just like I'm pretty sure they've taken care of anybody else. Well, I decided to just get in my car, go into the city. You know, I looked it up, it was like eight minutes away, not that big of a deal. And when I got there, I had to, they were doing all kinds of construction. You know, this is one reason I used to stay away from cities. Too much traffic, too many lights, too many people crossing roads. Um, you had to pay for parking and parking was like $8 and it was like four levels underground. So I got there, I parked, you know, the parking garage was right next to where I ordered the food from. And I got there, the guy was just saying, you know, it was not the first time. It was not the second, third, fourth or fifth time. He completely gave me my food, the correct order. By the way, the food was wrong. So he said he corrected the order, he gave me a new drink, he gave me two cards to come back, two cards, you know? So, needless to say, I thanked him. We talked for like maybe five to eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. And so I thought to myself, I read up on these electric boards and, well, I got two. I mean, so, um... I thought about it, I was like, I can get through traffic easily, I don't have to wait for red lights, um, point A to point B, not spinning gas, having fun, right, having fun while going to get it, and it's been working out great, and here's the other kicker, the food that he gave me that was corrected was again wrong. And this brings me back to the, I guess the end of my point is I can go from point A to point B, sit there, eat my food. I got an hour. Everything's like 10, maybe 15 minutes away. No gas. Don't have to pay for parking. Are you kidding me?